so class 11 by the first chapter first chapter basic concept of chemistry the basic concept of chemistry it the main part the first part is the mole concept first part is the mole concept there are five part in this basic concept first part is the mole concept so to understand basic concept basic concept directly first of all we must know what is a mole one mole we must know what is one mole the so one mole is nothing but equal to for the numbers that is 6.023 into 10 to the power per mole One mole is nothing but a number 6.023 into 10 to the power 23, which is said to be Avogadro's numbers, which is symbolized as equal to n, which is symbolized as equal to n. So one mole is equal to 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. One mole is nothing but a number 6.023 into 10 to the power 23, which is Avogadro's numbers, or is said to be m. So one mole of anything, if I am going to say one dozen, one dozen means twelve. One mole, one mole of anything, one mole of anything is equal to these numbers, Avogadro's numbers. Now suppose we are telling one mole of atom. Suppose we are telling one mole of atom. One mole of atom means there are six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three atoms, which is said to be equal to one gram atom. Similarly, suppose we are telling one mole of molecules. One mole of molecules. This is. Also 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules, which is always called as one gram mole. So again, chapter one basic concept of chemistry. The first part is the mole concept. Mole concept means one mole. One mole is nothing but a number equal to 6.023 into 10 to the power 23, which is above its numbers. Then there is another one dozen, one hundred twelve. Similar, one mole is a number. One mole of atom, six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three atom, which is called and called to one gram atom, one gram atom. Similar, one mole of molecules, that is called six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three molecules, which is said equal to one gram mole. Now, mole concept, mole concept. We will divide into two categories. Number one, mole concept on molecules. Number one, mole concept on molecules. Number two, mole concept on atoms. Mole concept on molecules. Number two, mole concept on atoms. Mole concept can be divided into two part. Mole concept on molecules and mole concept on atoms. So, I will start first with the mole concept on molecules. So, we will first start from the mole concept on molecules. We will start mole concept two types: mole concept of atoms and mole concept of molecules. So, number one, I am going to start with the mole concept of molecules. Mole concept on Molecules. Then we go to the mole concept on atoms. Now mole concept on molecules. I told you for any molecules, for any molecules, for any molecules, one mole of molecules, one mole of molecules. Is equal to n number of molecules. Is equal to n number of molecules. One mole of molecule is equal to 
n number n is equal to 6.023 and that is called as equal to 1 gram mole that is equal to 1 gram mole which is nothing but equal to molecular mass or molar mass in gram so for any molecules for any molecules one mole of molecule is equal to n number of molecules is equal to one gram mole which is equal to molecular mass or molar mass in grams now what is molar mass mole mass mole mass is equal to sum of atomic mass mole mass is equal to sum of atomic mass sum of atomic mass and we must know atoms and atomic mass we must know atoms and atomic mass we must know atoms and atomic mass suppose hydrogen atomic mass is equal to 1 then we have to remember 13 important atoms carbon 12 nitrogen 40 oxygen 16 sodium 23 magnesium 24 Aluminium 27 Phosphorus 31 Sulfur 32 Chlorine 35.5 35.5 Potassium 39 Calcium 40 and Fe Ferrum 56 So we must remember 13 atomic masses hydrogen 1, carbon 12, nitrogen 14, oxygen 16, sodium 23, magnesium 24, aluminum 27, phosphorus 31, sulfur 32, chlorine 35.5, potassium 39, calcium 40, Fe 56. So that for examples, for examples, number 1. 1 mole of H2 molecules 1 mole of H2 molecules 1 mole of H2 molecule is nothing but equal to n number of H2 molecules n number of H2 molecules that is equal to molecular mass in grams so H atomic mass is equal to 1 this is H2 molecules this is nothing but equal to now 2 gram 1 mole of H2 molecules, H is equal to 1. So, L number of H2 molecules, 1 mole of H2 molecules, H2 is a molecule. So, molecular become, becomes equal to 2. L number of H2 molecules is equal to 2 gram. Suppose, 1 mole of O2 molecules, 1 mole of O2 molecule. Again, this is equal to L number of O2 molecules, L number of O2 molecules which is also called as equal to 1 gram mole O2 which is called as equal to this is also said to be 1 gram mole H2 this is said to be 1 gram mole of O2 which is equal to 32 gram so 1 mole of any molecules is equal to n number of molecules this is called 1 gram moles that is equal to molecular mass in us so 1 mole of H2 molecule that is equal to n number of H2 molecule that is equal to 2 gram which is equal to 1 gram mole H2 1 mole of O2 molecule is equal to n number of n number of O2 molecules that is equal to 1 gram mole of O2 that is equal to 32 gram similarly similarly number 3 suppose 1 gram mole of 1 that is equal to n number of molecules n number of molecules that is equal to 
1 gram mole of NH that is equal to 1 gram mole of NH that is 1 gram mole of NH which is equal to molecular mass sodium is equal to 23 oxygen is equal to 16 hydrogen is equal to 1 that is equal to 40 gram sodium is equal to 20 atomic mass 23 oxygen atomic mass 16 and hydrogen atomic mass 1 40 grams suppose four examples one gram mole of aluminium sulfate a to so 4 pole 3 1 gram mole of Al to SO4 pole 3. Again, that is called n number of molecules. n number of molecules. n is equal to above of numbers. n number of molecules. That is equal to 1 gram mole. That is equal to 1 gram mole Al to SO4 pole 3. 1 gram mole Al to SO4 pole 3, which is equal to molecular mass. Aluminium atomic mass 27. So 2 into 27. 2 into 27 aluminium aluminium sulfate aluminium is 27 2 into 27 plus 3 into 3 there are 3 sulfate 3 into sulfate S is equal to 32 O is equal to 16 16 into 4 64 2 into 27 that is equal to 54 plus 3 into 32 plus 64 that is equal to 96 so that this is 54 plus 288 this is equal to 342 gram so 1 gram mole of anything 1 gram mole of anything 1 gram mole of anything is equal to n number of molecules that is equal to molecular mass in grams molecular mass in grams and it is also called 1 gram mole. So, 1 gram mole of aluminium sulfate Al to SO43, which is equal to n number of molecules, which is equal to 1 gram mole of Al to SO43, which is equal to 1 gram mole of Al to SO43, 1 gram mole of Al to SO43, 1 gram mole of Al to SO43, which is molecular mass, molecular mass is equal to aluminium 2 into 27 plus 3 into 32 plus 64 32 plus 64 is equal to 2 into 27 54 plus 3 into 96 2 8 that is equal to 342 grams now we will come to the mole concept on atoms we will come to the mole concept on atoms will concept the mole concept of atoms that is suppose I am writing this as mole concept molecules mole concept atom mole concept on molecules and mole concept on atoms Here, one gram mole. Here, one gram mole on the molecule side. One gram mole is equal to n number of molecules. N number of molecules, which is equal to molecular mass in gram, which is equal to molecular mass in grams which is equal to 1 mole of any molecules mole concept molecules for the mole concept molecules and the word used for the 1 gram moles 1 gram mole is equal to n number of molecules n number of molecules n number of molecules which is equal to molecular mass in gram which is equal to molecular mass in gram and that is equal to 1 mole of any molecules 1 mole of any molecules now mole concept atoms 
in place of 1 gram moles, I am going to use for you what? 1 gram atom. 1 gram atom is equal to, 1 gram atom is equal to n number of atoms. n number of atoms. That is equal to atomic mass in grams. Atomic mass in gram. And this is the meaning of 1 mole of any atom. 1 mole of any atom. So, for example, suppose here, number 1, 1 mole of H2 molecule. It is called 1 gram mole H2. 1 mole of H2 molecule is called 1 gram mole of H2. That is equal to a number of molecules. N means 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. N number of H2 molecules, which is equal to molecular atoms, 2 gram. But this says, suppose, 1 mole of, uh, 1 mole of H atoms, 1 mole of H atoms, that is called 1 gram atom H, that is called 1 gram atom H, which is equal to n number of H atoms and that is called atomic mass, hydrogen atomic mass equal to 1 gram, hydrogen atomic mass is equal to 1 gram. So, mole per cent of atoms, that is called atomic mass in grams, mole per cent molecule that is molecular mass in grams. Similarly, you should take 1 mole of O2 molecules, 1 mole of O2 molecules, that is equal to n number of O2 molecules, n number of O2 molecules, that is equal to 1 gram mole of O2, that is equal to 1 gram mole of O2, which is equal to 32 gram. But similarly, if we have atom, 1 mole of O atom, 1 mole of O atoms, 1 mole of O atoms is equal to n number of O atoms, n number of O atoms is equal to 1 gram atom O, 1 gram atom O is equal to atomic mass 16, that is equal to 16 gram. So once again, mole concept of molecules, mole concept of atoms. There are many. For molecule, we use the word one gram mole. I mean use to the one gram moles. But in this cases, mole concept atom, I mean use to the one gram atoms. For molecules, we are using the word one gram mole. But for atoms, we are using the one gram atom. So for molecule, one gram mole is equal to n number of molecules that is equal to molecular mass in grams which is equal to 1 mole of any molecules. Now mole comes atom, 1 mole of any atom, 1 mole of any atom that is called 1 gram atom which is equal to n number of atoms that is equal to atomic mass in grams. So 1 mole of H2 molecules that is equal to 1, 1 mole of H2 molecules that will be equal to 1 gram mole of H2 that will be 1 gram mole of H2 that is equal to n number of H2 molecules and H2 molecular mass is 2, 2 gram. Similarly, 1 mole of H atom that is equal to 1 gram atom of H that is equal to n number of H atoms which is equal to 1 gram. Similarly, 1 mole of O2 molecules which is equal to n number of O2 molecules that is called 1 gram mole of O2, 32 gram. Here, 1 mole of O atoms is equal to n number of O atoms, which is equal to 1 gram atom O, that is equal to 16 grams. So that. So that.
हमें वो कंटेंट कर रहे H2 मॉलिक्यूल्स में हैं और वो कंटेंट कर रहे H एटम्स में हैं सपोज कि 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 H2 molecule H and it is 6.023 into 10 to the power 20 H atoms H it is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 H2 molecule H it is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 H atoms H this is said to be the n number of h2 molecule this is said to be the n number of h atom here this is said to be equal to 1 gram mole of h2 this side is said to be the 1 gram atom h and this is equal to molecular mass that is equal to molecular mass in gram that will be equal to 2 gram and here it will be equal to atomic mass in gram that will be equal to 1 gram so suppose in a container we have got H2 molecules we have got H atoms here 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 H2 molecules and here 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 H atoms. Here n number of H2 molecules and here n number of H atoms. n number of H2 molecules it is called 1 gram mole of H2 which is also called as equal to molecular mass in grams that is equal to 2 gram. n number of o H atoms that is 1 gram atom of H atomic mass in gram that is equal to 1 gram. Now suppose in place of H2, we will take O2 molecules and there will be O atoms. O2 molecules and there is equal to O atoms. And again this become N number of O2 molecules that is equal to 1 gram mole of O2 that is equal to O2 molecular mass 32 grams. Here N number of O atoms which is 1 gram atom of O that is atomic mass in gas and that become is equal to 16 gram because atomic mass of oxygen which is 16 and molecular mass is equal to 32 so mole concept mole means 1 mole it is a Avogadro's numbers 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 so for molecules 1 mole means n number of molecules it is called 1 gram mole for atoms 1 mole means n number of atoms which is called 1 atom. So main important in soji molecule pain, n time molecules pain, I mean what is equal to the 1 gram mole. Our n time atoms pain, I mean what is equal to the 1 gram atom. Now there are basically there are basically 10 formulas on the mole concept. There are basically 10 formulas on the mole concept. 10 formulas on mole concept. 10 formulas on mole concept. But for molecules, another for atoms. Molecules and atoms. First formula mass is equal to gram mole into molecular mass. First number two formula become just its reverse. Gram mole is equal to mass mass in gram mass in gram divided by molecular mass. Number three, number of molecules, number of molecules is equal to gram mole into n. Number four, again, gram mole is equal to number of molecules by n. And 
last formula, fifth formula, mass of one molecule, mass of one molecule is equal to molecular mass by n gram. So, for molecules, mole concept molecule, there are five formulas, and mole concept of there are five formulas. First of all, the molecules by five formulas are mass in gram is equal to gram mole into molecular mass. Number two, gram mole is equal to gram mole is equal to mass per inverse of mass in gram divided by molecular mass. Number three, number of molecules is equal to gram mole into n, and per inverse of gram mole is equal to number of molecules by n. Number five, mass of one molecule is equal to molecular mass by n grams. So one two times only seven is seven jigsaw per inverse jig. Three the inverse of jig four and five will be separate from them. And the same this is here. Six formula will be mass in gram. Mass in gram is equal to gram atom into atomic mass. Number seven. Gram atom, that is first. Gram atom is equal to mass in gram divided by atomic mass. Number eight. Number of atoms is equal to gram atom into n. Number nine, gram atom is equal to number of atoms by n. And the last one is, and the last one is, okay, mass of one atom is equal to atomic mass. By n gram. So formulas on the mole concept rate. Formulas on the mole concept rate. I'm forgetting. Five formulas for molecules are constant formula for atoms. When we say side is compare the gram, molecule by which mass in gram is equal to gram mole into molecular mass. Think similarly at the atoms by six formula which. Mass in gram is equal to gram atom into atomic mass. Second one, first to divorce. Gram mole is equal to mass by molecular mass. Okay, gram atom is equal to mass by atomic mass. Third one, number of molecules is equal to gram mole into m. Third one, eighth one, which is the number of molecules, which is the number of atoms. It is gram mole, which is gram atom into m. It is gram mole. Is equal to number of molecules by n. It is gram atom is equal to number of atoms by n. And it is mass of one molecule is equal to molecular mass by n gram. It is mass of one atom is equal to atomic mass by n grams. Now, each formula we have to do it in numerical. So we do two numerical from each formula. Suppose I have first formula to choose. First formula. I mean, first formula we do two numericals. First one, formula first one, number one, formula F one, formula one one, J mass in gram, mass in grams is equal to gram mole into molecular mass. So question number one. Eight gram mole of CaCO3 is equal to how much gram? Is the question mark. Eight gram mole of CaCO3 is equal to how much gram? So answers. So mass is equal to. We have the formula gram mole. Gram mole is equal to how much? Eight into molecular mass. Molecular mass means sum of atomic mass. Calcium is equal to forty. Carbon twelve, 
O3, O which I have mean, mentioned 60, 60 into 48, so that this becomes 8 into 100 is equal to 800 gram. So once again, first form of numerical question is mass in gram is equal to gram mole into molecular mass. 80 gram mole of CSO3 is equal to how much gram? So that mass is equal to gram mole into molecular mass. Gram mole is equal to 8 molecular mass. Calcium atomic mass 40, carbon 12, O3 48. So that 8 into 100 is equal to 800 grams. Suppose question number 2. 10 gram mole of aluminum sulfate Al2 SO4 O3 is equal to how much gram? 10 mole of Al2 SO4 O3 is equal to how much grams? So that again answer become mass. We have the formula gram mass. Gram mass are equal to like 10 into molecular mass. Into molecular mass. Aluminum atomic mass I mean 27. 2 into 27 plus 3 into sulfur which is 32 plus O4 64. So that can be multiplied with this become 10 into 54 plus it is 3 into 96, 288. So that 10 into 342 which is equal to 3420 gram which is equal to 3420 grams. This is the formula 1. Formula 1 mass in gram is equal to gram mole into molecular mass. 8 gram mole of CSO3, 800 grams. Answer here are marking. And here 10 gram mole of red CO3, 3420 grams. Now suppose for a very simple molecules are in our So we will take a very simple molecules. 5 gram mole of H2, it becomes very easy. 5 gram mole of H2 is equal to how much gram? So answers becomes very simple. So gram mole is equal to how much? 5 into molecular mass 2 is equal to 10 gram. Suppose question number 4 we are taking here. Suppose 0.1 gram mole of 0.1 gram mole of O2. Very answer is 0.1 gram mole of O2 is equal to how much grams? It is equal to how much grams? Again, answer becomes gram mole is equal to how much? 0.1 into O2, molecular mass is equal to 32, this becomes 3.2 gram. So this is about the formula ones. So in the more concept first ones, today we will do only two formulas. Formula 1, which was mass is equal to gram mole into molecular mass and we will go to the second formula, the reverse of it. That is just opposite to The opposite formula becomes, just its opposite formula becomes just the reverse. Opposite formula becomes gram mole is equal to opposite formula becomes gram mole is equal to the reverse formula. So gram mole is equal to formula 2. Gram mole is equal to mass in gram. Gram mole is equal to mass in grams divided by molecular mass. And pillar and number two, the formula, whether it's physics, chemistry, the third formula is to make it in a box. So then I know Subhidha. Example to Subhidha, whenever I write the formula, put it in a box. So I know Subhidha, the result will be, so gram mole is equal to mass in gram by molecular mass. Again, take question number one. 490 gram of H2SO4 is equal to how much gram mass? Very simple. How much gram mass? Formula 1 is just reverse term. So answers. Gram mole is equal to answers. Gram mole is equal to it can be formula G mass in grams. Mass in gram is 490. And molecular mass. Molecular mass I have told you sum of atomic mass. Molecular mass by H2 is equal to 2. Sulfur is equal to 32. And O4. And school room of the giant the water 60 into 4, 64. So that 490 divided by 98, 490 divided by 9 years, this is equal to 5 gram. Just a reverse of the formula. Formula one upon the like gram mole dekha me mass bar put like gram mole dekha me mass bar put like it is a reverse. Mass is a gram mole bar put like. So that if we go to the question number 2, if we go to the question number 2, 
1260 gram of 1260 gram of HLO3 is equal to how much gram moles? How much gram moles? So again, gram mole is equal to mass in grams, mass in gram 1260. Again, molecular mass. Your school year already you know. H is equal to one. Nitrogen which is 40 and O3 is equal to 48. So that this become one two six zero. Divided by 63, that equal to 20 grams. And as some of the abhyas are going to be, we will make habit answers to round up problem. So that, that means, I am going to bring a very high level. We are getting so many values. So, our examiner, when he comes to the class, he will do the identification of the answer to round up problem. Four ninety gram of extra sugars is equal to five grams. Two sixty gram of extra three is equal to twenty grams. I will draw a simple model of this. So, the question number three. 640 gram of O2, very simple. 640 gram of O2 is equal to gas gram moles. So again answers. 640 mass is equal to how much? 640. And molecular mass is equal to how much? 32. So that it becomes again 20 gram moles. And the last ones. So this question number four. 20 gram of H2 is equal to how much gram? Again, 20 divided by H2 molecular mass is equal to 2, so that 20 by 2, 10, and this become 10 gram. So in the first part, our basic data important thing to know is n ta molecules by it is called 1 gram mole. Our n ta atoms by it is called as equal to 1 gram atom. n ta molecules by it is called 1 gram mole. So n atoms, n number of atoms, 1 gram atoms. So, so far, pila ko confusion be. Kya tapa le kuta use ho? Molecules pay will use the word one gram mole. Atoms pay will use the word one gram atom. So, so the n molecules is equal to one gram mole, which is equal to molecular mass in grams. E pade atoms pay n number of atoms is equal to one gram atom, which is equal to atomic mass in grams. And e pade there are five formulas: molecules pay and atoms pay five formulas. So that become ten formula. So ten formula. As I am doing the formula, I am first part of the course. Chundi, course chundi. So formula one: mass or gram is equal to gram mole into molecular mass. And number two formula: gram mole is equal to mass in grams by molecular mass.